Ladies and gentlemen, kings, queens, presidents, prime ministers, and dignified dignitaries, my distinguished colleagues of Chesterfield County, it's an honor and a privilege of the highest form to be amongst you today. I certainly understand we're all going through a very difficult time, but I'm here to tell you we are all going to persevere in Chesterfield County and beyond, and we'll come back even stronger than before. With that, I've taken advantage of the downtime. Certainly I've missed doing my juggling and magic shows, and I miss seeing all of you. But with that, I'm going to have many new tricks to show you when I do come back stronger than ever. So with that, may I show you a few magic tricks today? Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to show you something right here. Let me show you some new tricks. I have a pack of cards. No trick packs, nothing to hide. Everybody can see I shuffle the cards up like so. I would not steal you wrong. Now, normally I have uh, somebody of the highest caliber to pick out a card. However, today, with the current circumstances, we're going to do without that. But no worries at all. I'll still aim to impress each and every one of you over the next 30 minutes. Pay close attention. I'll pick out a card myself. How about this one? I won't even look at it. But my viewers at home can see it. Live it, learn it, make it a part of you. Everybody see the card? Now watch as the magic starts to happen. I place the card back, everybody can see in fine form. I mix the cards up to silence all our viewers at home, mix them up some more to silence any other skeptics we may have. Allow me to cut the cards for the fine people of Chesterfield. I'll put the top on the bottom. I'll put the bottom on the top. These cards are mixed up. Allow me to show you the first card right here, everybody. It's the Five of Diamonds. They say diamonds are forever. I say the payments are too. <laughs> Some of the jokes are going to be for me today. Watch, you see the five of diamonds? Look at the five of diamonds. I shall take the five of diamonds and dramatically rub the five of diamonds on my arm. Keep looking, everybody. I will now turn the five of diamonds over. And would you believe, friends, it has transformed into the card that was randomly selected. Magic of the highest caliber. It's a three of diamonds. Now for a dramatic effect. And since everybody in Chesterfield County wants nothing but the best, let me pick out another card that contrasts with the one I had. I'm gonna take the Queen of Clubs. The three of diamonds. Everybody see? Queen of Clubs, three of diamonds, I put them back. Let me shuffle them up like before. Ladder, rinse, and repeat. Pay close attention, friends. Did you see that right there? One more time. That was three months of my life. Remember, anything you want to do well in Chesterfield County, practice, practice, practice. Now is the time. Choose a hobby. What has been your passion all your life, right? Well, find it and make the most out of it. Have you been fortunate enough to read some wonderful books? I have. Let me show you what I learned from a magic book from Chesterfield County at the Bonaire Public Library. You see the three of diamonds again? Now, if you remember, the other card was the queen of clubs. So I will take the three of diamonds. I will place the three of diamonds on the table and now proceed to look for the other card. Yes, indeed, brace yourselves. Let's see if I can succeed. The other card, the queen of clubs. I search high and low. I see one card that is turned over. It's the moment of truth. What you've been waiting for. Is this the Queen of Clubs? No. To everybody's shock and amazement, one hopes. It's the Three of Diamonds again. I turn this one over, and there's the Queen of Clubs. Chesterfield's own. Now, friends, one thing I believe in very much is that uh, it's good to know a little about a lot of things. So you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket or something like that. So I'm going to teach everybody at home how to do a card trick. Yes, you friends, prized viewers of Chesterfield County and beyond, let me show you. Everybody see, right? I have all these cards right here. And I'm just going to put them down and I'll get the cameraman, Tanner, with us today. I want you to call out stop whenever you like, Tanner. Stop. Right there. Mm -hmm. He said to stop right there. Allow me to put the cards away. Make space, right? Everybody see? Now he said stop right there. 
Now let me show you, friends. Here's what I have. Uh oh, right? He said, stop. I have a book right here, so everybody can see. I'm going to open up the book. It says, you will stop on the four of hearts. Now I assure you, friends, nothing has been planned in advance. It says you will stop on the four of hearts. Let's turn it over. And would you believe right there, sitting pretty, flying first class, is the four of hearts. At home you're asking, how did he do that? Some of you are wondering, why did he do that? So allow me to show you how to do this. You can impress everybody. When we get through this and come back stronger than ever, you'll have an awfully cool card trick that everybody can do. Let me explain what happened. Yes, indeed, here comes the big reveal. You see, in advance, I did write, you will stop on the four hearts. Just in a little notebook. Everybody see? Here's what you didn't see in advance. I took the four hearts. I placed it under the book. Are you with me? Under the book, I placed it right here. I took the cards. Nothing more, nothing less. No hours of practice. You can just do this. I put the cards down. Tanner called out, stop. Whoever yells stop for you, it doesn't matter where they say stop, they can go through the whole path. But you put the other cards down, here's what you do. You pick up the notebook, you pick up the four of hearts, and you place it on top, gather up all the cards, take that away, put the cards back down, show your audience what it says, now I wrote, you will stop on the four hearts. But you can write whatever. Do you happen to have a favorite card? I don't really, I like all the cards. Although people say I don't play with the full deck. <laughs> Once again, some of the jokes are for me, Chesterfield County. Bear with me. <laughs> I've been holed up for quite a while. I'm bunkering down. So you see, I wrote the four hearts, but whatever you want to write. Make sure the card's under the notebook. And there you have it. Crash, boom, bam. Pick a wiggle, no flutter, no butter. So let me give it to the cards, we've had enough of those. Allow me to show you some more here in Chesterfield County. I have a rope, oh my goodness. Three things I love the most, cards, coins, and rope tricks. Now I'm just gonna demonstrate this for you, but watch closely. Let me show you what I've learned during this time of bunkering down. You see, I put the ends together. I go to the middle. I, Jonathan Austin of Sound, Body, and Mind, play along. I'll pick up the scissors, the razor sharp scissors. I cut the rope in half. Now I have two pieces of rope that are the same length. Oh, goodness gracious. When school's out, <laughs> you lose your chops. That's not the same length, everybody can see, but watch the magic as it transpires. You see, two pieces of rope, one obviously longer than the other. But here's where the magic happens, Chesterfield County. Before your eyes, ears, noses, teeth, belly buttons, and all of your other vital organs, they become equal in proportion. Now that's magic right there, but above and beyond the call of duty, which we all need to rise to, I will now make the two pieces magically. One, a mystery for the ages, something to talk about. Allow me next to go to the middle. That's right, check this out, right there. I cut once, that's for the teachers. For all the healthcare workers right now, let's not forget them. And let's not forget the unemployed. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? <laughs> all in good time, friends. You see me cut the rope three times. Would you believe this? Magically, 
mystically, majestically, it comes back together. Yes, indeed, friends, I take a deep bow. Would you like to see some more? I thought you'd never ask. Allow me to let this rope go. Let's see what else we can do. Conjuring up the winning formula. The answer to all your woes. You see the black scarf? You see I have no sleeves? Here comes the magic. Pay close attention, all my friends out there. I will take the scarf. Allow me to place into the opposing hand. No camera tricks. No YouTube. No Facebook. This is the real deal. A live show. You see the scarf? Pay close attention, friends. I place into the hand. I give it a wave. I present an exaggerated gesture of concentration for optimal effect. I hope you know what that means. Because I don't. I give it a blow. Look as it vanishes into the thick of the night. The mystery, now history. You like that? I hope so. Yes, indeed. Let me find something else to entertain you. In the fashion in which you are no longer accustomed. Pay close attention. I'd like to teach you a new trick. Is that okay? So you'll have a cool card trick. And you'll have an awesome coin trick. Now, let me repeat myself. If you want to do something well, you have to practice, practice, practice. And you have time right now to practice, practice, practice. So, let me demonstrate the trick, and then I'll teach you. Pay close attention. I have here a coin. A 50 cents piece. <laughs> I'm on a budget. I will take the coin and place into the other hand. Everybody see? Now you see it. I place into the opposing hand. Pay close attention. I blow. And look at that, friends. A thought to ponder. A mystery. And now it's gone. Vanishing into the thick of the night. Where did it go? Pay close attention. You see the hands are empty. I'm just going to reach up to my ear and take it out. Are you there? Are you there? Are you there? Now, friends, if you want to be able to do magic, you have to practice, but you don't really need a thousand tricks to do. It's just good to have a couple of tricks to do. You'll be the talk of the next party. And I assure you, after this pandemic, everybody's going to be happy to celebrate. And just think, you'll have a card trick. You'll have a coin trick. You'll be the talk of the town. Yes, indeed, the envy of all. So let me teach you, and then I trust that my viewers will practice, practice, practice. Everybody, hands are empty. You can take any coin, whatever feels most comfortable to you. I use a 50 cents piece, maybe a quarter. You make the call. Everybody, here's what I did. The first time I placed it in the other hand, the second time, I did as well. But the third time, I acted like I placed it into the other hand. I didn't really put it in the other hand. But because I practiced, I made it look like it went in the other hand. And I'll give you a tip. Make sure you look at that hand. Now, truth be told, the coin is actually right there. You see? Let me show you again. I'll do it as slowly as possible. I act like I put it in the other hand. I look at the other hand like it has the coin. But it's actually sitting right there on the fingers. But because I've practiced, I can't stress that word enough. I just act natural, stand right here. Look at that hand, blow. Open it up dramatically, and the coin's gone. Now, if I had spectators right here in my presence, I would reach up and grab the coin out of their ear. But 
Sometimes, as we are learning, we have to make do with what we have. We have so much to celebrate, even in this time of crisis. Watch closely, you see the coin? I act like I put it in the other hand. Bell, everybody follow? So check it out. After this fiasco is over, and it will be over in good time, and we come back stronger and nicer and happier than ever, you'll have a card trick and a coin trick to show everybody. Sometimes that's all you need. Let me show you some more. Allow me. Watch. I will demonstrate a trick itself. You see, I have a one dollar bill. Pay your close attention. George Washington, who never told a lie. <laughs> How'd he get elected? <laughs> oh my goodness. If the Chesterfield County officials hear that, huh, I'll be condemned. I'll be ruined. Jokey joke. Every year at George Washington's birthday, how do we celebrate? With a mattress sale. <laughs> you can tell everybody that joke. Uh, if they laugh, please give me credit. If they boo, hmm, my name is David Copperfield. Now back to Jonathan Austin. You see the one dollar bill? One dollar. Yes indeed, class. Nothing in the hands. No trick dollars can be spent like so many others. Watch the one dollar bill. You can fold it in half seven times. Allow me to demonstrate. One. You see the one dollar bill? Two. Three. I'm gonna fold it up so small you can barely see the dollar. And now class, look closely. Pay close attention. The one dollar bill has been turned into a one hundred dollar bill. Hmm. Pretty good trick to learn, especially about this time. Everybody see the one dollar bill has turned into a hundred. Yes, indeed. Let me put this away. Now, friends, I've had the good fortune to see some of you out and about doing shows for you over the years. I have done this for a long time, many shows in Chesterfield County, which has been so good to me. Let me do some juggling for you, if that works. Yes indeed, class. Let me work this out. I have some bean bags. Allow me to demonstrate juggling in the highest form. Everybody see? I'll teach you how to juggle. Good time to learn. Great exercise. Let us not forget that, Chesterfield County. Exercise, eating healthy, that builds up and makes your immune system very, very strong. So important in this time. So please do that for yourself and for me. Eat right. Exercise when you can. At the same time, practicing social distancing. All of you rock. Let me show you how to jump. You take a tennis ball, whatever you may have at home, if you're lucky enough to have a bean bag, but tennis balls are more common. I learned to juggle when I was 12 years old with three tennis balls. Look at me now, 10 years later, <laughs> give or take 25 years. Watch, throw it back and forth, you see that? Now if you notice, I'm throwing it about eye level, I'm not throwing it as high as I can. It actually gets out of control when you do that. I'm not throwing it as low as I can. I'm finding a happy medium. So you see, back and forth like so. Right? I pick up two. One, two. One, two. Most people hand it over like that. Or go like this. Right? And when that one's coming down, you throw the left one so it looks like this. Right, left, right, left, right, left. You see? Then you pick up a third one. Here's where the challenge comes in. But I think all of you will stand and deliver. Two in the right hand, one in the left hand, one, two. Now you throw the third one so it looks like this. One, two, one, two. 
two. Allow me to back up. One, two, three. You see? Right, left, right, catch. Now keep in mind, after you do that, that is a complete juggle, which makes you a juggler. But all the smart residents of Chesterfield County know that. So watch. One, two, one, two, three. Now you keep going so it looks like this. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. You follow? Getting my daily dose of exercise? Pay close attention, class. Big beginning. Allow me to take my hat off. Fluff. My uncut hair. That's okay. And juggle for you. Bam. Big beginning. Whoa. Rock on. Everybody follow like so. So as you can see, I'm juggling like never before. Ha ha. Gimme, 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 gimme. And some more. Let me show you this. Yes, indeed. Faster, better, same low cost. What if I try this? Da, 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 da. Then I try it in the other hand. Looks even better when I go like this. <laughs> now I go really fast. I shall try three using just one hand. Ha, ha. Up, up, and away. Oh, my glory. Let me keep going. Yes, indeed, friends. The hand. The elbow. Oh, yeah. The muscle. Ooh. Disqualified for steroid use. Ooh. And now, friends, let me get really fancy. A 360 degree full pirouette. In other words, I'll throw a beanbag high into the air, spin around once, catch it, and go back into a three beanbag juggle. Like this. Ha! Do you see that? Three months of my life right there. My mother's so proud of me. Let me try some more. This is three. Let's see if I can do this without stopping or dropping. One, two, three, heads up. Look at that, friends. Four at once. Everybody follow. Uh-huh. Let me pick it up. Oh, my. I think I'm ready for five. Everybody. One, pay close attention. Two, three, four. Oh my goodness. Your wildest dreams coming true. Five, at once like so. Everybody see? Ha. Two for one. All for one in Chesterfield County. And three for a dollar. <laughs> Let me try once again the tough way. Permission to land. Oh my goodness. Did you see that class? Caught it on the back of my neck. There you have it. What else have I been up to during this? Let me find something to juggle. Yes, indeed. Canoe uh -uh. battles. That's right, class. Row, row, row your boat. Now, these are not even made for juggling. Allow me a little space and juggle canoe paddles for you. They're real, genuine. Let me see what I have right here. Allow me a little more space. This is being world premiere. I take a canoe paddle and now you will witness the perfect synchronicity of body and mind. Uh, uh. Timber! Ha, 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 ha. Slide in. Ole! Thank you, Captain. Ha! Now I put the canoe paddles away and bring out something a little more made for juggling. Yes, indeed. So important to keep everything interesting, I think. Let's see what I have next. Oh my goodness. Juggling clubs. Nothing but the best will do. I fix my hair. This time, we juggle with flip. Amazing. Yes, indeed. Flying through the air with the greatest of ease. Hooray for the red, white, and blue. 
to amaze everybody in Chesterfield County and beyond, I will now juggle higher. Ta-da! I sense disappointment. I sense a tad bit of confusion. Allow me to really go higher, fighting gravity each and every step of the way. I will now juggle into the upper stratosphere of juggling. Watch out, Chesterfield County Airport. Twice as fast. Three times. What if I went four times as fast? And no extra charge to you. Yes, indeed, there's some more. Allow me to show you no flips and no extra charge. Back flips. Oh, my goodness. How can a juggler be this generous and still turn a profit? Ha! Let me keep it rocking in the freeway. My flat head, look at that, friends. This flat is a pizza. This flat is a Flounder is flat as Tom Brady's football. <laughs> Jokey joke. Here's what I know you like. A smart, good-looking, sophisticated crowd as yourselves shall sincerely appreciate the likes of this. Oh, 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 oh. Four years of college. It's okay to laugh. You didn't pay for it. <laughs> Time to get fancy, dancy. That's right, friends. I'm here to tell everybody, you don't just wake up doing this. Ha ha. Oh my. Ooh la la. La la oh. Rock on. Yes, indeed. That's what it's about. Now I shall attempt the impossible. The improbable. Slide down my back. Please, Chesterfield, keep your hands and feet inside the car. Hold on to your Pants. Ha, ha. I'm ready now, charge. Whoa. One more time for those cheap seats. I know. <laughs> and now, I present for you the warm ups. For real. Whoa. <laughs> Grandiose finish. Wait for it. And the crowd goes. Wild! You rock, Chesterfield. Now, friends, there's something else I want to show you. Yes, indeed. What I like to consider the first pet of Chesterfield County. Allow me. Yes, indeed, friends. Look at this. Traveling the seven seas, the four corners, to bring you Samson. A magician must have a rabbit. It's a prerequisite. <laughs> Par for the course. Everybody say hi, Samson. That's right, friends. Uh-oh. What's his favorite food? You guessed it. Carrots. What's his favorite restaurant? IHOP. <laughs> now, if you want to laugh, you have to lower your standards, don't you? And remember, children, if you want your own bunny, Start out by asking for a horse. <laughs> Some of you will get that later. You better believe it, friends. So you see we have Samson, Chesterfield's own, my prized possession. So let me put him right over here. And friends, there is one last bit I'd like to do. That's right. Let me show you. Five golden rings. The grand finale. Everybody see? Ah, something special. Whoa. You got the right one. Now, Chesterfield and everybody at home, I know these are trying times. They are for me. They are for you. So let's be as nice as we can to each other. Let's take care of all of us. That's right. Don't forget your social distancing. And remember, friends, this will be over in good time. Yes, indeed, and we'll be stronger for it. So take care, stay healthy, wash those squeaky clean hands, and keep them off that gorgeous face of yours. Friends, a shout out real quick to Cheryl and Truman. Yes, indeed, love to all. I'm Jonathan Austin. 
If you did not like the show, my name is David Copperfield. Till I get to meet and see all of you in person, that's right. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much. I'm Jonathan Austin, and I am signing off.